Course B2 A 10 E. Here is Learn NX with this topic, deformable parts, with external references. In the second part of the course, deformable parts, cables and tubes are now built into assemblies. In this way, cable connections flexibly change their course and associatively follow a change within the assembly. Or pipelines are laid only by selecting the start and target positions. Everything is realized without additional tools. If you want to actively participate, you can download the drawing, or even the two assemblies shown. Define references. A cable is to flexibly connect plug and socket. Plug and socket are later installed several times in one assembly at different positions. Create a new part. Deform cable. The plug and socket are positioned in the assembly using coordinate systems. These coordinate systems are thus the controlling elements of the deformable part. NX calls these references. The references are already created in the part and the entire modeling is aligned with them. So first two coordinate systems are created at any position. For example the first one on 0, and the next one on x is 15 and y is 5. Rename the references to Reference Position Plug and Reference Position Socket. In principle, all following features could now be based on these two coordinate systems. But this way, we would be asked for the references again for every feature when installing it in an assembly. To avoid this, Two further coordinate systems are simply created, which lie directly on the references. Create them with the Offset CSYS option and the settings shown here. Also rename them to Position Plug and Position Socket. If all further features refer to these coordinate systems, they form the bridge to the references. Important, hide the references, so that you don't accidentally refer to them. Create Plug. Start the Extrude command and place the sketch on the XY plane of Position Plug. Create a rectangle with the method from center and the dimensions 8 by 5 and place it in the center. Change the direction, and extrude 8 mm. Are all references correct? Check it with, Browse. As you can see here, extrude only refers to, Position Plug, so everything is correct. Start the extrude command again and place the sketch on the XY plane of position plug it again.
Create a rectangle with the method from center and the dimensions 1 by 3 and place it on the horizontal sketch axis. Mirror the rectangle, unchecking the option, Create Persistent Relations. Dimension the 6 distance. Extrude this time 4 mm long, and select None as Boolean operation. Create a sketch on the back with the cross section of the wire. So place the 1.6 circle on the horizontal sketch axis, and mirror it. Then dimension the distance, and trim the overlaps. Create a line, 2 mm long, in the middle. and another line at one of the intersections. We will need these lines in a moment to create the wire. Now follows some cosmetics, the small chamfers, and some more color. Red and medium gold. Create bush. The necessary steps are simply copied with copy-paste. 
Select the steps, then copy, and then paste. Pay attention to the Select Parents and Create New Settings. Select the plane of the bush. Again, you can use Browse to check if the extrude command refers to the coordinate system of the bush. And once again some cosmetics. The socket turns blue. And the plugs change direction and are subtracted. And already it is a bush, which still gets the appropriate color. So, a sip of coffee or tea, and on we go. Create flexible wire. With the help of the small lines and two bridge curves, the course of the wire in the room will be defined. Select as start object the line in the center at the plug. And as end object the line in the center at the bush. This is now the spine curve. Repeat the steps with the lines at the intersection. This is now the guide curve. The swept command is now used to create the wire. First, the cross section is selected under sections. Under guide, select the guide curve. Select the spine curve under spine. And under Orientation, select another curve and select Spine Curve again. The rest of the settings as shown here. With this you have created a very flexible wire. And once again some color for the wire. How about this light gray? Define deformability. Under menu, tools, start the command, define deformable part. Under definition, a name can be entered. Under feature, all steps are selected that are to be repeated in an assembly. These are all, except for the two references. Under Expressions, a value could now be changed in the context of the assembly. This is not necessary in this course, but it would be interesting for springs, for example, as shown in the last course. Tip to all YouTubers, you can find all courses, logically sorted and together with the downloads on LearnNX.com. You can also find the link in the description. So, let's move on. Under References, only these two entries should appear. Here you could also enter prompts for the user. For example, select the CSYS for the plug and select the CSYS for the socket. And under Summary, everything can be checked again. You should definitely do this, because the definition of the deformable part, i.e. these five steps, 
can no longer be changed after clicking finish and you are unfortunately forced to repeat these five steps completely. With this, the deformable part is ready and we should save it for now. Create switch box. To play a little with the plug, we still need a box with a few connectors. Create a new part and call it switch box. Start again with a 40 by 25 rectangle and extrude it 15 high. Create a sketch on the upper face with, for example, two points. Here and here. And another sketch with two points on one of the side faces. Coordinate systems are now positioned with the help of these points. Select the method, plane, x-axis, point and reverse the z-axis. And again, on the respective XY planes of the coordinate systems, the connections are created. The dimensions are 1 by 3, with 6 distance, and 4 height. Just create the chamfers. And choose the color, and they can be copied by copy paste.
Of course, the direction on the side surfaces still has to be changed to turn plugs into bushes. The case still gets a radius, and as a color, a dark gray. First test. Now the deformable part is installed without constraints. Just select the two coordinate systems and the connection is ready. As a test, also change the direction of the x-axis. Good, that works. <sighs> Delete the deformable part. Next test. Create a parent assembly. Fix the switch box. Move the switch box with move component and activate the copy mode to add another switch box. Position the switch box as desired. Reinstall the deformable component. But now no coordinate system can be selected. Why? Of course, because the coordinate systems are not part of the assembly, but part of the switch box. So we first have to link the desired coordinate systems into the assembly. So cancel the command and create associative copies of the coordinate systems from the switch box into the assembly using the wave geometry linker. Now the wires can be installed. When a switch box is moved, the wires follow automatically. Granted, it takes a bit of prep work, but in return, moving wires is now a breeze and follows any change automatically now. Helpful? Then help us too and subscribe to our channel. Finally, something to relax about. Laying tubes with the help of deformable parts. First, a look at the initial situation. An assembly shows several tube connections in different positions and orientations. But something is the same for all connections, all of them have a coordinate system whose z-axis is aligned to the axis of the tube. Now that's something to work with. So, first create a new part. In it, we again create two coordinate systems as reference. 
We move the second one in X, Y, and Z by 100 millimeters, and rotate it around the X axis by 100 degrees. Again, both coordinate systems are renamed to Reference Position 1 and Reference Position 2. With the option Offset CSYS, again two coordinate systems are built as a bridge and renamed. Then the course of the tube is constructed. The first line starts at position 1. Normal to this plane. And ends at this plane of position 2. The last line starts at position 2. Normal to this plane and ends at this plane from position 1. And now the connecting line is created. It simply runs from point to point. Then the arcs are constructed. For example, with 20 radius. The radius could of course also become a deformable parameter and could then be individually adjusted in the assembly. So if it gets tight. Last comes the tube. Major diameter 14, inner diameter 12. Now the tube is to be pushed another 5 mm onto the tube sockets. The first and last lines are therefore changed accordingly. Now the definition of the deformable part is done quickly. Again, except for the references, all features are selected. And a prompt written. Back to the assembly. To be able to select the coordinate systems, these are linked again with the wave geometry linker into the assembly. Now the deformable tube can be installed. Simply add without constraints and select the coordinate systems. And when the connecting plates change position, the tubes automatically adjust. Conclusion With the define deformable part function, defined references in the part can be exchanged for references in the assembly. You can find drawing and assembly as download on learnnx.com. See you.